Okay, welcome back. This time we're doing Super Spike Volleyball on the NES, doing it on the HDMI captures. And Super Spike Volleyball is actually one of the unusual multi game cartridges. There was only a few of them on the NES. There's, everyone knows, the Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt cartridge, which came packed in with the uh, NES that had the controllers and the zapper. Uh, there was also Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt World Class Track Meet, which was the pack-in game for the NES that had the zapper and the power pad included. Then there's also uh, short order and explode, which is a two game, two games on one cartridge. Uh, that one is for the power pad, and it's actually a really good game. It's a, the best they could do for the power pad. Power pad, not a good peripheral, but short order and explode was pretty good. In fact, if they had actually changed, like short order is where you have like little animal characters tell you what kind of sandwich they want. They list the ingredients. The buttons on the power pad correspond to different sandwich ingredients, and it's basically like a memory game. If they had switched out the animal characters with Super Mario characters, it might have actually been a sleeper hit. Um, after that, you know, those are all multi-game cartridges, or excuse me, yes, multi-games on one cartridge that make use of the peripherals, you know, the power pad and the light gun. Um, the only two that I can think of off the top of my head that don't use the peripheral are this one, Super Spike Volleyball and Nintendo World Cup, and the Donkey Kong Arcade Classics game, which has both Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. Highly recommend that game. Absolutely love Excuse me, highly recommend that cartridge. Absolutely love both of those games. It's much cheaper to just buy that cartridge than it is to buy the Donkey Kong cartridge and the Donkey Kong Jr. cartridge. And uh, what do you say about Super Spike Volleyball? First off, Nintendo World Cup, not really that great a game. Kind of a boring little soccer game. Uh, Super Spike Volleyball is actually really good. We'll go ahead and get started. Control is good. This is a pretty good two-player game. It's going to take me a minute to get the hang of the controls because it's been a while since I played. It's developed by Technos, you know, one of my favorite companies. Technos, of course, did... Um, we'll do a tournament single. American Circuit. Uh, Technos did uh, WWF Superstars and WrestleFest on uh, the coin-operated arcade cabinets, which were great. So we need a balance team. Let's see. We'll go with Billy and Jimmy, the Double Dragons, of course. And we will play against Ed and Michael, the speed players. And it's going to take me a minute to get the hang of the controls. Oh, okay, I got the point for that. Ah, good defense. One thing I want to 
point out about this game is that it is, in fact, or excuse me, ported. from um, an arcade game. I think it's called Championship Volleyball. Uh, it's This is a pretty good port of that game. There we go. Yeah, defense is going to be key, blocking those spikes. Admittedly, I have never seen the arcade cabinet in the wild. And I can find very little of it. Ah, I missed. I can find very little of it on the internet. I did find... One video on YouTube. Uh, I gotta buckle down here. I found one video on YouTube of someone playing the arcade port, and that I'll post a link to because it does look like a really fun arcade cabinet. I'm kind of bummed I missed out on it. And it is worth checking out. This is a fun game. It doesn't take that long to get the hang of the controls. Uh, my defense kind of sucks. I need to be better. This game doesn't take much practice to get really good at. There we go. And if you have a... If you, uh, I don't imagine this was a popular game for a lot of siblings. If you had a friend, you know, you both played this game a lot, you both got really good at this game, you could make a really formidable team. In fact, I'm not sure, I don't think this is uh, one of those compatible with the NES 4 score. That's too bad. This game, kind of a no-brainer that it should have been four-score compatible. Oh, why'd I do that? Ugh. So just a couple, a uh, couple quick things I wanted to throw out there before I forget. Oh no, I lost. It's first to 15. I need to get better. Uh.
Game over. I guess I'm not as good as I thought I was. I should have practiced a little bit more before I played. Um, a couple quick points. Um, one is I'm going to be uploading some... Uh, no. We're gonna give up. Sorry, Double Dragons. Um... Two players versus two players. Maybe this is four score compatible. So if you're playing, if you have the four score, four controllers, this game, and three other gamers who are good at it, you could actually have a good time with this game. It's kind of a lot to ask though. Um, yeah, I'm going to be uploading some test footage of Doom 3, and if the footage looks smooth and good, maybe we'll get some Doom 3 gameplay in there. I would love to do it. Doom 3, one of my all-time absolute favorite games, bar none, and the other one was the Sega Mini. Sega Mini 2 has just been... There's some news about it. It's coming out... Actually, here, let's go to... Ah, uh, whatever. Um, yeah, they're not getting that many units in North America, which is fine. I have the Sega Genesis Mini. Not really gonna be going out of my way to get the Mini 2. Now that I know that it's not even being released. Only a few units are being released in North America. I am less interested. It has basically the same library, but they threw in a couple of other games, notably a couple of Sega CD games, Sonic CD, Mansion of Hidden Souls, which is a game I'd like to talk about at some point. It's one that I did have a friend growing up that has Sega Genesis with the uh, Sega CD add-on, and we only played a handful of games on it because, you know, the Sega CD was such a weird console, but one of the few games that we did play on it was Mansion of Hidden Souls, which was one that he was strangely drawn to. Uh, we'll get around to that. Um, anyway, that's it. Super Spike Volleyball. Underrated game. I actually like this. And... I totally forgot to check what the price is for this um, Cartridge Super Spike Volleyball World Cup. I can't imagine it's more than $15. I think this is probably a $10, $15 cartridge. Not worth more than $20. But anyway, that's Super Spike Volleyball. Sorry I was so bad at it. Um, <laughs> practice makes perfect, and I didn't practice at all. So anyway, this one was quick, and we'll do something else fun later. Well, look out for that Doom 3 test footage.